everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be deploying the virtual machines and test the network filters so now we're gonna create virtual machines one and two which is related to the one is web and other one is for the management and then we'll be associating is each virtual machine network interface to an application security group which is ASG so we'll be associating with these and once we associate we'll test the network traffic filtering so saying that let's go ahead and uh, start the lab so initially you have to create the virtual machine so go to the virtual machines you can search here or you can uh, just click on the top suggestions so i've already created two different uh, virtual machines one is for the web and one is for the management so let's show me how this is done create uh, azure virtual machine and select the property subscription and select the resource group that we have created recently which is uh, is it fine with lab 07 and uh, coming to the name let me copy from the github so this is the name associated with this since it's getting error i'm just giving it one so east us and just i'm just leaving it as default coming to the image i'm making sure it's 2022 data center which is uh, the top one so once it is done and make sure it's standard uh, standard d2s v3 and you have to use the username and password for that let me so you have to keep the student and uh, i'm using the password which i have done in the previous labs so just copy and paste it so once it is done the next thing is uh, you can see there is a public important ports make sure it's none and uh, rest everything is default just go back to disks so in the disks you can see you have a premium ssd so instead of that change it to standard hd and uh, after keeping it as standard hdd uh, leave everything as default the next thing is go to the networking which is the next section and this make sure the virtual uh, network is my virtual network which we have created in the first lab so once this is done and uh, coming to NIC network security groups make sure it's none and let's go to the management and rest everything is normal here default go to the management and in the management so in the boot diagnosis make sure it's uh, the recommended one so once it is done you can just go ahead and and create it if you want to add tags you can do that but i'm not doing anything so just go ahead and create it so once it is done we have to create the next one which is uh, the management server so right now we have created the web server now the next task is we have to create the management server so it's a similar process just the name is being changed so let me walk through again so i have to just click create virtual machine and uh, select the appropriate resource group and the name here is uh, the vm management and same uh, you should keep the student that we have used in the previous video and the relevant password to that Re retype your password and how it doesn't matter because i'm just keeping some random words because i've already used it here so make sure it's none and uh, the rest in all the tabs that we have done previously it's the same uh, configurations so once it is done make sure you review and create it so it may take like few minutes for that so once these two are done you are done with uh, this particular section now we have to associate these two so the second task sorry the uh, third task is to associate each virtual machine network interface to its application security groups so we have to select the virtual machine in this case let's go with, with the first one which is my vm web and uh, here you can go to the networking which is under settings click that and here you can see there is application security groups asg click that here i have already associated with uh, my asg web servers so if it is not there here just click the configure and uh, select the appropriate uh, servers that you want so in this case here it's ASG web servers and once it's done click save so after this similarly you have to do with the management server 
so go to the application and make sure it's here if it's not there just click and select the appropriate application groups here so once it is done the next task is to test the network traffic of uh, filtering so if i go to the management uh, uh you know vm you just need to connect click rtp and you, you should be able to connect it using the username and password which i've done already so you can see it's already i'm able to access it using uh, the student and the relevant password to that so you were able to access so once it is done the next thing is let's go to the my web uh, vm web here the next one and here you have to run a command in the powershell for that you can see under operations you have a run command so click that and here you can see a powershell a run powershell script click that and you have to add the command so let me copy it from the github add it so this is the command that you have to run so once it is done it will take like uh, maybe two to three minutes once it is done you have to copy your public ip and when you try to paste it you can uh, see the default web page so this is the how the command is run and this is the output related to that so let me cancel this let me go to the overview and let me select the public ip so once you copy it let's paste here so you can see the default is page here so it's working successfully so let me read the note here so the browser page should display the default is web page uh, because the port 80 is allowed inbound from the internal based on the settings of the ahg web server application security group and the network security interface of my vm web azure vm is associated with that particular azure security group so that is the reason we are able to access it and uh, coming to the results we are able to validate that the nsg and ahg configurations are working properly and it's been correctly managed so since it's done the final task that we're gonna do is we will be deleting all the resources and that the resource group so for that you have to click the powershell cloud shell and then click the powershell here and you have to paste let me paste the command so every time when you do the lab make sure you delete those resources because you don't want to charge for some unnecessary resources so let me copy and paste remove so it's done make sure you use this command and uh, yeah that's it for now so we have completed the lab 7 which is network security groups and application security groups i hope you guys have understood the concept here so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and thank you guys i've got this error because uh, i'm deleting these resources right so my vm has been deleted yeah thank you guys